Hi guys, PJ here. Today we're taking a look at the Asus Cerebus headsets, or more in particular, this specific model of Cerebus. Now, this was bought brand new from, I'm not going to name names, but a very, very well-known large online retailer. And it looks like you've got to be a little bit careful because right here, exclusive promotional model not for sale. Hmm, not sure what the retailers are getting up to these days, but it's like I say, this is a large online retailer, so not impressed. The box is battered. So, you know, what has happened to this? What is the score with it? You know, this is not a cut price item or anything. So uh, I'm feeling a little bit stressed about this already for saying. Now, this does work on all platforms, mobile phones, computers, um, you know, gaming platforms, the whole lot. It does have a boom mic, of course, and it is wired with a switch in the wire to mute the video. As I look inside, see the state of this because, like I say, this was purchased as brand new. And um, it's one of the online retailers that uses other retailers, not eBay. There's a big hint. So, yeah, we're not sure what's what's going on here, but I'm pretty sure trades descriptions would probably rate this as not new. I'll look at the packaging, see if it's ever been out. I would imagine it should be in polythene bags and stuff. I have not pre-opened this, by the way. This is how it's arrived. Well, there's no polythene bag. Hmm, okay. Nice headset, I like the red. And if you're something like a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, you know, you need a decent uh, broadcast mic. There you go, there's your broadcast mic, which was stuck to the Velcro that you wind the cable up with. There's no way on earth this is new. So you're gonna to have to be careful if this is the norm with these Asus headsets or, you know, common, shall we say, you've got to be careful. Oh, I don't know, it's still, no, it's still stuck into the packaging. So let's just get that out of the packaging. Might be jumping the gun a little bit. There is actually cellophane each side stuck on the sides here to stop it rubbing on the plastic. Um, it's stuck to the back of the packaging as well. This has come away, but that was stuck. So don't actually believe it has been out of the box because this is definitely one time sticky stuff that uh, you wouldn't be able to stick it back in once you'd pulled it away. But even so, you know, it is tatty. I mean, you know, look at the state at the top of it. It's not what you'd expect for new, certainly, is it? Okay, let's get this out of the packaging and start giving it a test and see how it compares to my older Corsair headset, which again is wired. I've been using it for many, many years and it is a, still a fantastic headset. So. Let's give this one a go. So the question is, is there any problems with this headset compared to, well, say another major brand? There are two small things to point out and I'm actually gonna show you that for yourselves. The first could be a problem depending on your setup is cable length. This is a Corsair set that I've had for years. This is the new Aces set. Okay, the wire's a bit crinkly. It is a fiber wire as opposed to a plastic wire, so it should last. And of course, your inline mute is on the cable itself with the volume and a tip as opposed to a mute on the earpiece. But let's look at the cable length. Yes, it's a bit crinkly because it's new, realize that. Yeah, it's a lot shorter, guys. So we basically sort of gather it up work the way down it. You've got a good couple of meters on the Corsair one. And on this one, I'd say you've got an extra half meter of cable. Now that shouldn't be a problem if you're right next to your PC, but let's say for example, you've got a desktop PC and you plugged it in the TV and you're sitting on a sofa. Yeah, you could plug it in your controller, but here comes the second problem. Laptops have a three and a half mil jack plug where you can plug in your headset. So, you know, these type of plugs, no problem. But desktops have two separate plugs. The Corsair unit headset comes with this. 
a nice splitter. Okay, so you can split off mic and headset. This Asus one does not come with that. So it's fine for laptops and games consoles, but for a desktop with the two plugs, no, you're gonna to need to buy a splitter adapter. Okay. What about quality? Well, they are a nice quality. The pads don't look like they're gonna to drop to bits. Like some of them, they just peel and fall off over a few years time, they look okay. The boom mic seems good. The phone doesn't fall off the end of it like on a lot. And the head padding, if you pull it up so it actually sits there properly and pull it down over your head is very, very comfortable. So that shouldn't be an issue. Let's actually plug these in now and I'll record using them. Okay, so here we are using the actual headset itself. Like I say, it's comfortable to have on. The boom mic adjusts nicely. It doesn't sort of bend out of the way or bend and stay where you need it to go another shortcoming is the length of this section i can't look down and see the switches on or off i mean don't get me wrong you know the up is on and down is off but it's nice to be able to see it and you sort of can't it's very near cable length like i was saying not great not bad but they are really really comfy so yeah, I'd say the decent value for money uh, as a decent headset if you're going to use it for streaming, which is what this has been purchased for, uh, not for myself, incidentally, I'd still be using the Corsair ones, I need the longer reach. Um, they are very good, certainly rate the mic and the actual sound reproduction of them a good 7 or 8 out of 10, so uh, worth the money is my opinion, better than a Corsair headset. I guess it depends on the model that you're looking at. Certainly a high quality one certainly does the job well. That's it from me. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.